we are going to create our digital day book. So a digital day book is like a notebook, just like you would make for any other class, but ours is going to be digital so that when you put content in it, I will be able to go to our bookshelf, which I'll show in just a minute, um, and I'll be able to see what you've written without you having to turn any type of paper. So to get started, you're going to look in your inbox. Um, I am not going to show you my inbox because there are messages in it. Um, but when you look in your inbox, the, you'll see a message from me and it has a link in it. This link is individual to each one of you. So what that means is I've created a link for each of you that takes you directly into your content in Book Creator. Um, and Book Creator is where we will be making our notebooks. So you do not want to share this link with anyone. It is like your password. Um, the link will take you directly into Book Creator so that you can create and edit content, but no one else can delete or change anything that you have. Um, it keeps your content secure. So if your friend says, I can't get in mine, give me your link, um, do not do that. That person will need to contact me if something's wrong with their link, um, and I'll fix that. But your link needs to be secure so that no one can delete your writing assignments or change anything. Um, it is just for you. Okay, so go ahead and click on that link in your inbox and it's going to take us to Book Creator where you're going to be in the shelf that I have created for our day books. And right now it's empty because nobody's made any books yet. But I'm going to show you how to make yours. Um, and probably by the time you make yours, you'll see a few others in here. So the first thing you need to do is click New Book up here in the top right hand corner. And it's going to show us some different shapes and types of books that we can make. Um, for our day book, we're going to do portrait. And it just gives us a blank cover to start with. So for your day book, you need a title. Um, and that title needs to have your name and day book in it. And then you need to have a cover that reflects your personality. I want to see um, you decorate it and make it your own. Um, the limits on that are, of course, it needs to be appropriate for school and I need to be able to read the cover to know that it's yours. And you want to make sure you have your first and last name because, again, there are several of you with the same first um, or last name. So don't try to just put your last name. Don't try to just put your first name because I won't be able to tell who you are and you won't get a grade. Um, so let's go ahead and add a title. So go up here to this plus sign. And we're going to get a text box. So when you click on text, this text box is going to pop up. And so you type your first and last name. I'm going to put Mrs. Brits. Um, and I'm adding my apostrophe S. And then I'm going to put digital day book. Okay. Um, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, you can do that here um, to see. I think I want to italicize mine and I think I'll bold it as well. So now I have that. As long as you are still clicked on this text box, you can go in and make some changes to your um, title box. So you can move it around. You can make it um, kind of tilted at an angle. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, you can change the shape of it if you want it to all be in one line or if you want it to be more compact, you can do this and make the box smaller. I think I like mine longer like this. Um, okay, so now we have a title, but it's still pretty boring. There's a lot of white space going on here. So I want to add a background first. Um, and you can see some solid colors that you can use to make your book cover. But um, also, you can go into comics and you can see different things that you can add. Um, that's kind of cute. Um, let's see. What else? You can go into paper. If you want lined paper, 
you can have that. If you want it to look like musical notes or um, like graph paper. Um, let's see, what else? There are so many options. You can do borders. Um, you can use patterns. like that one, but I'll have to change the, yeah, that shows up better. Um, or you can do textures. So this kind of looks like old paper. Um, you can make it look like wood. You can add lines to it. Just whatever kind of suits your personality. Hmm, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, but now it's really hard to see my um, text. So, oh wait, there, I need to be on text. So first of all, I need to change the color, I think, because it's just not showing up. I wonder, yeah, white shows up a lot better. And I feel like it needs to be a little bigger. So I'm going to make it bigger and then stretch it. Mm, that might be a little too big. So I'm going to go back down there. Okay. Now I'm going to get it back where I want it. Um, that's looking a lot better. We definitely don't have so much white space. It looks so boring but there's a lot more that you can add. So you can take a picture of yourself if you want. I'm not going to do that right now, but um, you can draw. Um, if you are quite the artist, you can use any of these tools. Um, you can also use auto, which for those of you who are like me and cannot draw, this is a good option. So once you start drawing, I'm going to start drawing a really bad heart. Um, it's going to say, did you mean? And you can choose some different things up here to add. So I can change it to a thumbs up. I can change it to um, a chair or an apple or a phone. Um, okay, so you can play around with that and see what all you can come up with. Um, but if you finish playing with that, you click done, um, and it gets on your cover and you're like, eh, I don't really like that. All you need to do is click on it. And then if you click backspace on your keyboard, it goes away. So you can't really mess it up. Um, anything that you don't like, you can get rid of and try again. Um, so let's see. I want to add a shape. I'm going to add a thought bubble to mine. All right, so I can change which way it's coming from. Stretch it out. Okay, so I want some text because you can't really have a thought bubble without putting text in the thought. Um, so I need to add another text box. So I'm going to say, um, where my brilliance begins because I plan on putting some great stuff in my day book this year. And then I'm going to put an ellipse to show my thoughts trailing off there at the end. And I want to italicize that. So now hmm, do I like that? Let's see. Maybe it should be a tad bigger. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Um, mine is fairly simple, um, just because I'm not that creative, honestly. Um, you can do lots of things and make this the way you want. Um, if you want to, let me find it, media. Um, you can import content also. So if you want to go to your drive or embed a link, um, you can do all of that. Um, 
so basically your imagination is kind of the limit um, but just make sure that I can see your name um, in your title and day book because there are other types of books we will make this year so make sure yours says day book and then um, just be creative and make it appropriate for school um, the last thing that we're going to do is add a table of contents so that the next time we are creating um, some content in our day book we'll have a place to put it and keep up with it so you can pause the video and um, work on creating your cover the way you want um, and then start it again when you're ready to do your table of contents or just do it with me now and then go back and um, play with your um, cover and get it the way you want later so the way to add a table of contents is to click this arrow to go to next page and now it's giving you two pages here because it's open just like a book um, so we're gonna add text again just like we did before and just type table of contents um, all right so I'm gonna center that um, and make it a little larger and you can see this red line will show you when you're in the middle of a page so if you go up or down um, to the side you can see that um, that line helps you get things centered all right you don't need to 